Welcome back to the final days. Today is September 7th, 2021. Please feel free to share, copy, or reuse any parts of my videos. Today we will be looking at video footage from the FAA weather cameras in Alaska and Colorado. And I'll also be discussing some rather disturbing information pertaining to people today all over the world. I will have to be very careful topic, talking about that subject uh, so that my channel doesn't get shut down. These images, taken today from the east-facing camera at Trading Bay, Alaska, show two separate reflections in the water when the sun was rising up this morning. And when contrast is added to the image, it becomes obvious that there are two separate reflections in the water. We see the same thing happening in Lyman, Colorado. We see two distinct reflections on a large metallic surface. It's probably a rooftop or something like that. In February of this year, some of you may have seen these two bright objects rising up in the morning, captured by the east-facing camera in Pelican, Alaska. These are all signs that we are living in the very last days, according to the Holy Bible. In the Bible's book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, Jesus tells us that we will see signs in the sky when the end of the age is near. This footage from the east-facing camera in Wolf Creek Pass, Colorado, shows an absolutely enormous, fast-rotating, crater-pocked celestial object that is very close to our planet. We know it's very close to our planet because of the detail we're able to see even through all the atmospheric chemicals. We know that this cannot possibly be a lens flare of the sun for several reasons. Perhaps the most obvious reason is its fast rotation. The cratered surface of this object makes its ro rotation very obvious. A lens flare of the sun is a camera produced reflection of the sun. Thus, the lens flare has to look something like the sun. And since our sun only rotates once every 27 Earth days, the fast rotation of this object tells us that this is definitely not a lens flare of the sun. There are several other reasons why this cannot be a lens flare, but I want to keep this video as short as possible for now, so I won't go into all the other reasons. The images with contrast really bring out the rough surface of this celestial object. As I've mentioned several times in the past, <clears throat> I only apply the contrast to the area where it is needed, and I eliminate glare and it, within the contrast area, such as clouds and sun and things like that. Now something very, very important that I want you to notice. Notice that the manufactured light, which many people mistake for the sun, passes in front of the celestial object. This is one way that we know this is not the real sun. Our real sun is behind this celestial object nearly 93 million miles away. It would be impossible for this weather camera to actually record this celestial object behind our real sun 93 million miles away. Nor could you see anything like this with the naked eye. Using an average camera like this weather camera, it is scientifically and physically impossible to see an object behind the sun. <clears throat> Thus, the circular light you are seeing in the sky cannot be the sun. On February 1st of 2020, last year, I described how cursive handwriting is extremely difficult for the robotic optics to read 
and thus slap a particular video with violations. And if you misspell the cursive words, the robotic violation police are useless. In the description box below is a link to a video that everyone needs to see, just in case it is removed by the time you attempt to view it. I'll briefly describe what the video is about. It shows that the part of the body, the arm, that just received the produces a unique product ID code whenever a digital scanner is passed over the person's arm. Once it has been injected into the body, microscopic robotic particles actually build a at the location of the this is metallic and reacts to a magnet when the magnet is placed in close proximity. The video shows it being surgically extracted from a patient's arm. This tiny metallic object is easily located by using a magnet on the person's arm as you will see in the video. Once extracted, it is black and it's about the size of a grain of rice. Anyone who doesn't know that we are living in the very last days simply doesn't want to know. Most of this world has turned its back on God and as a result we are starting to see some of his judgments fall upon this world. Psalm 91 tells us that the faithful will see the atrocities poured out upon the wicked, but that it will not come near the faithful. In Luke chapter 21 verse 36, Jesus says, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to God's wrath, his judgments, plagues, calamities. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape God's wrath. To be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life and escape God's wrath that is coming upon the whole world. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.